Hey, how's everyone doing? Savon here with the DIY video. It's my first DIY video on this channel, but I already know how to do DIYs because I'm a designer myself. And what I'm doing today is something simple. I'm just doing a little um, Yeezy Season customization. Because I always admired Kanye's clothing, obviously, because, you know, he's just a god, like, you know, just in everything that he does. That's not necking him, I'm just saying, you know, that's how I feel sometimes. You know, it's just, you know, I love his style, I love everything about it, you know. I mean, if you've seen my previous videos, I was in his fashion show, um, Easy Season 3. It was a great experience. Now, now, I'm just doing something simple today. Got a little uh, hoodie here. A little uh, hoodie, but um, see if I can focus that for you. Now, what I did was, here we go. Now what I did was I cut the elastic band off the bottom right here. See this right here? I cut the elastic band off so it could have that oversized, you know, that oversized look to it. See the pockets right there. It's kind of beige, so it's hard to see what everything is. And uh, it was right here. And now all you need for this is obviously the hoodie. A pair of scissors if you want. And some sandpaper. Some nice, beautiful sandpaper. It's, it's best to just get um, some sandpaper that's, you know, real rough, real super rough. Now, don't get no some sleek ass sandpaper. Like, if if you can do this and it doesn't hurt, which it does right now, and I'm going to stop, <laughs> shit hurts, like, then don't use it. You need to get something that's really good. And also, it's best, you don't have to do this, but it's best to have something, like, sturdy to, uh, put the hoodie in so you can distress the shirt and uh shirt or hoodie but in this case it's a hoodie so what i'm gonna do is put the hoodie under this thing right here and i use this glass for a whole bunch of things i put my sewing machine on it because the thing is i sew on this bed right here i'm sitting on my bed right now and so now you can Easily, I'm sorry for the angles, but I guess, um, I guess I'll put that right. This is where I can put this for you guys. Cool, that's I think that's good. And if the camera falls throughout this, my apologies because this is on a phone actually, and I'm doing it the ratchet way. <laughs> but of course, I'll show you guys later on in the video what it looks like. Now, this is my first time doing it with sandpaper because I usually just go with the old natural, and just go crazy. But like sometimes you really want that like that, the actual look like it just looks like you've been mauled by some damn zombies or something. You know what I'm saying? Like you want that wild look. You know? I don't know why that tape was on the back of that. But anyway, now it's like I don't know if I'm supposed to go against the grain, but I'm just doing what I feel right now. You see, it already is starting to look nice. Yeah. See. Like this. Oh yes, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> this is actually wonderful. I'm gonna start doing this more often instead of wasting my time with scissors. Screw the scissors. Oh man, once y'all see this, y'all gonna be like, damn, he did his thing. So this is dope. Let me fold that up a little bit. And you may need to get like a couple backup sandpapers just in case the other ones go bad on you. Because sometimes they rip because you're going too rough. And I'm just doing one part so far. One part, just dust that off. And see, that's what I made so far. This is uh, what I made so far. Right there. Let me see if I can focus that for you. Turn that brightness up. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that right there. Nice little dope. Uh, let me zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That was all with the sandpaper. That was, that's pretty nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's keep going. No time to waste. Let's do this. All right, so I figure 
Maybe go on the arm. Arms is usually the best. Can't forget the arms. And remember, always go to the back too. Don't forget to always shave up the back. Because if you don't shave up the back, then what's the point? It's like you just did it for fun. You know, let me do, the, do a little arm right there. And they don't have to be big holes. They don't have to look like they're like perforated with a whole bunch of holes. You know what I'm saying? But like, you want it to look dope at the same time. So. And plus, this is easy inspired, so, you know, try to, hope y'all can see that, focus that a little bit. You can see right there. There we go. Okay. And in, in the near future, I'll have, like, an official camera, because I'm now short on money, so that's far from my concern. This iPhone is doing just fine. <laughs> Just fine. I ain't lying. And then, yeah, you can just stretch it out. You can even make the hole a little bigger, you know. Do your thing with that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then just add, um, and then of course you're gonna have to clean up that massive mess because there's a whole bunch of, like, you know, um, that look everywhere. is nice. I'm kind of impressed with this one. Just dust that off so you can see that a little bit. Made a little, you know, it's nothing major, but, you know, little, little holes right there. You know what I'm saying? Just something light, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you can see that a little bit. That. You can't really see it because of the uh, the rip. Um, you know, the shirt itself is beige, so it's like maybe if I put my hand in there, then you'll understand where the rips are at. You get a better understanding of where. You know what I'm saying? It's like it looks looks dope, and then you can uh, focus that. And then, you know, I'll do that for the rest of the jacket, and so on and so on. But I just wanted to make this video to show you that, you know, you don't have to spend, like... And this is not the best, trust me. I know comments are going to go crazy saying, oh, this is trash. But, like, you don't have to spend, like, 2600 And that's a real price for one of them damn sweaters. 2600 for a sweater. Not even a hoodie, a sweater. Like, just a sweater that looks just like this. Not just like this, but like you get the gist. Like you can do it to how you want to make it look, you know, customize it to your pleasing. But for me, I'm a simple guy. I don't like to go crazy. You know, because I'm already a big dude, so that's good enough. You know? Me being a big guy, it's like, you know, I don't have to be, you know, worried about being seen. You're going to see me. So it's just the fact that, like, what I'm aware of, now, you know. I got to minimize certain things. To uh, accentuate the others. You know, that's why people say less is more. You know, but I'm going to end this video in a little bit. I'll show you this last rip. This last rip I'm doing right now. I need some new sandpaper after this one. Stretch it out a little bit. Make it, you know. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, see? Right 
two. Let me raise it up. Make another one. Focus that a little bit. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Looks pretty dope if you ask me. But yeah, this was my video. Um, hope you enjoyed. You know, hopefully I'll make better DIYs. And more like strategize DIYs. But you know, most of the time I just make it, you know, depending on how I feel. And so, I'm going to do the rest of this jacket. I would do a, um, on, you know, on body. But I'll, I'll, get, I'll make that a separate video when I'm finished. Probably like upload it right after I make this one. So, thank you guys for watching. See ya. Peace.